Hi, and welcome to another edition of From the Desk of Dan White. You know, every month we come out with these reports and uh, I kind of give a market update. And uh, I'd love to say that we have a rosy market update, but I'm afraid that's not the case today. And I thought before I got into what I'm reading, I thought it would be worthwhile to kind of walk back through the beginning of the year. You know, if you look at the bottom in the S&P, it was basically October of 2022. And coming into 2023, I don't think anybody predicted the market was going to go up 13 to 15 percent. If anything, most people were calling for a recession. Most people thought it was going to be a horrible year. And it's been surprising. And as we talked about earlier in the year, it hasn't really been that broad of a rally. They they focus on the Magnificent Seven, these seven stocks that have basically lifted the entire market. They're seven of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, that's been the reason for the rise in the S&P 500. But if you look at the other 493 companies, they're all down for the year. So it's it's been a very narrow market, but yet everybody was happy because if you bought S&P 500 index funds, the top seven, fu- his top seven positions in these funds were the Magnificent Seven. So the market was rolling along till about August. And then in August, things started to fall apart. In August, September, October, uh, basically entered into a, a, uh, a correction territory. The market fell 10%. And everybody thought, well, here it comes. And then very quickly, you know, we had an oversold position and uh, the market rallied like five or six percent last week. So people think, as they have for 15 years now, that we're out of the woods and things are are back to being honky dory. Well, again, I read a lot of stuff, and the things I'm reading are are not very rosy. So, for example, one of the guys that I read, he says there's a financial crisis brewing right now that is at the same scale as the residential mortgage crisis we had in 2008 and 2009. He says, by this time next year, there will be more than 10% unemployment. By the end, by the time the recession ends, there's going to be more than 20% unemployment. Think about that. Uh, he described what he sees coming next as the big forces of record consumer and government debt and higher interest rates converging. He also says one of the biggest banks in America is going to fail and soon. He also goes on to say, for the first time in my lifetime, the government is broke, truly broke. If the government prints more money, the bond market will absolutely crash and so will the dollar. If the government borrows more money, there will be more inflation. The bond market will crash and so will the dollar. We're absolutely at the end of our ability to finance our way of life. So everybody... Always the Fed as your back, the Fed as your back. They have painted themselves into a corner. You know, we've said for 15 years they keep kicking the can down the road, down the road, down the road, let the next guy worry about it. Well, I think we're at the uh, the point of no return. I think this is where the rubber meets the road, and I don't think 2024 is going to be all that good. I also read from some hedge fund managers. They say the economy is slowing faster than recent data suggests. Uh, regional bank carnage and recent rise in auto delinquencies to long-term historical highs indicate the U.S. economy slowing significantly. Uh, All of them are kind of on the same page. These are different hedge fund managers. Uh, Jamie uh, Jamie Demon from Morgan Chase, uh, he goes on to say... uh, Doubts that the world's government and central banks can manage all this stuff. Ray Dalio, billionaire investor and hedge fund manager. If you take the time horizon, the monetary policies that we're going to see will have greater effects on the world. It's difficult to be optimistic about this. The upcoming U.S. elections will be about irreconcilable differences to do with wealth and power. Um, These guys are all saying the same thing. So a reckoning is coming and it's not going to be pretty. One other thing I'll point out is never in the history of the U.S. have U.S. Treasury returns fallen three years in a row in the bond market. Guess what? First time for everything. We're going to see that this year as well. So uh, <laughs> wish I had better news, but buckle up. I mean, I think that's what makes our products uh, very popular today. Uh, annuity sales are off the charts because, again, people are fleeing to safe money and safer returns. 
All right, enough of that. Uh, so the good news, we had our Pi drive-by in Middletown last week. I want to give a big thank you to our Middletown clients who came out. We had 72 registrants uh, we gave out pies to, and they were very generous with their gifts of toys and canned goods. We dropped off a lot of canned goods to the Daily Bread down there, and they make 200 meals a day for people. So we appreciate all your generosity on that. Glenn Mills, uh, date is this Thursday, November 16th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., uh, and then from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So it depends on whether you want to come by in the morning or the afternoon. Uh, again, same thing. Uh, we'll be giving you a pie, and hopefully you can donate to our various uh, Toys for Tots and the food drives. For this week, we, uh, we have a Night of Vines referral event. Uh, so we want to thank everybody who attended that. It was a great event at a local winery. Uh, great evening with great food and drinks. And this, again, was held for people who have given us referrals. We do these twice a year. And if you give us a referral or somebody comes in to see us on, on your recommendation, uh, you do get invited to these upcoming events. Uh, one other thing I, I always remind you is the Google reviews. Uh, we actually have cr uh, created a new QR code. Because uh, it seems like all our reviews were coming in about Glenn Mills, so I know our Middletown guys were a little jealous, and they want to get some reviews on their own. So if you are from Middletown, use the QR code for Middletown and give uh, Dan and Andrew a little love uh, and tell them how much you appreciate them. And finally, our, our Thanksgiving hours. Our office will be closing uh, starting at 3 p.m. Uh, on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. We're giving the staff a break. We're off Thursday and Friday, and we'll reopen on Monday the 27th. And just as one final note, uh, as we head into the holiday season, we're all very blessed. You know, not everybody is as blessed as we are. So, you know, try to smile at somebody. Try to open a door. You know, you don't know what path other people are going through. And sometimes a small gesture that you give them might make all the difference in the world. So if you can try to make somebody's day, that would be great as well. I hope everybody has a blessed Thanksgiving holiday. Have a great day.